and now I want to introduce you to an amazing woman, Therese Skelly. She's a best-selling author of Love-Based Mission and hosting the inspiring, fiercely brilliant podcast. She combines psychotherapy, business coaching with ninja-like intuition, and she empowers mission-driven clients. As the intuitive business mentor, she serves as a secret superpower for high achievers, catalyzing rapid shifts that activate more impact and income. And Teresa's energy-based approach blends inter inner transformation with real-world strategies, ensuring that her clients thrive financially, spiritually, mentally, and enjoying running their businesses to make them happy. As she's a sought-after speaker, and at business conferences, she lives in Arizona. She has a fabulous cattle dog, Murphy, and she cherishes the close bonds that she creates and has with her two amazing sons and finding joy and adventures with her partner, Scott, and this newfound source of joy and abundance and excitement. Welcome, Therese. I'm so, so nice. happy to be here with you, dear. You look yeah. fabulous, Sila. You're we, you're rocking the pearls. You look great. So, oh, thank good. you. Glad that I'm you're pulling here. out some treasures from my time <laughs> in Dubai, feeling the richness <laughs> and the abundance. There we go. There we go. As it should be. Nice. Non-scarcity. Nice. Yeah. Welcome. Right. Welcome. Thank I you. love that gorgeous tree behind you. That yeah. looks like the tree of abundance. That's uh, raining down for a yeah. reason. Yeah. yeah. It's very, oh, very well, it looks intentional. Like my, your super ninja intuition and mine are kind of co co commingling here. I love That's it. Right. Nice. So Therese, would you like to please share, how did you get to this point? I know you've been a psychotherapist for a while and I know it's been around a about crazy journey. Yeah. So, you know, I have, I was psychotherapist for like 20 years and I loved it. I never, ever, ever thought I would leave. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. And, um, part of the, you know, listening to intuition story. And I think this is a really important, important part. I never thought I would do anything else. And I would, I was going to, a, to an intuitive. And one day she said, um, you know, you're going to do something else. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I'm like, but I love this. I love therapy. I love listening to people's problems. Right. And so I'd go back the next year. She's like, you know, you're going to leave. And I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, there's nothing else. And so finally I, she just kept planting the seeds and planting the seeds. And, um, so I went to life coaching school in 2001. That makes, I'm an OG, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, they just started that then because I started my business in 2000 and there were no, there was no oh, so funny. life coach. And oh. I remember when they first yeah. started this. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I went to a networking group and I said, they said, what are you? I, I I'm a coach. And they said, oh, golf or tennis. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Isn't that funny? Was a, or yeah. a sports coach. Right. right. So I, I start life coaching. So I'm doing the therapy practice, start life coaching. And then um, there was, I just got a newsletter back in the day that was like, a newsletter. and the newsletter said business coaches wanted. Now here's what you have to know. I, 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 I had a psychology master's degree, counseling master's degree and a criminal justice undergrad. I like worked in a prison, you know, like I, there was no business experience. Nothing on paper was, was nothing was logical. And for some reason, my hands are on the keyboard and I'm like applying to be a business coach. I didn't even know what a spreadsheet was. Like literally I was the worst person. <laughs> and yet th that was the first time I remember listening and following. Like I was just obedient, like, okay, crazy. And all the voices in my head are going, you really? Like You're what? a nutcase. Yeah. I, what? And that one decision was psh, just pivotal. So, so I, I, I entered the space of coaching when it was the hardcore bro marketing. I was a marketing strategist because you can't say words like intuition or God or goddess oh, or feminine energy, right? It was, it was hardcore. So I cut my teeth on the hardcore business coaching. And then in about 2008, I kind of snuck in, like, I, I kind of know mindset. I had the psychotherapy. And what was happening, Myra, is that I, a few years was doing that. And I started knowing stuff that they didn't teach me in therapy school. <laughs> So I would be with a client and I, and I, and I just would be like, what the heck? how do I know they have a curse? What? And what am I supposed to do with it? You're and hearing so would, voices, you not yeah. case you. <laughs> yeah. And then they would tell me, and I mean, and so of course this is happening in split seconds and I'm with clients and I'm having this dialogue, like you, what you, 
me? I, I <laughs> so it took a lot of years. And for me, the reason I'm so passionate about your topic, your work, is because I think I struggled in the acceptance of the gift of my amazingly crazy, wild, accurate intuition. Because I really, because coming from the hardcore, yeah, you, that's that's crazy people stuff. Like we don't, we don't, yeah. uh, you know, we're gonna run them off the stage. To, you know, the hospital <laughs> with padded walls and yeah, yeah. And so it took me a lot of extra years to go, oh, and it's funny, strangely, like last year, because I've been doing it, what would happen is my clients would come and they'd say, yeah, yeah, I don't need strategy, but my sales aren't working. Can you just pick up your pendulum and tune into why? And I started just working mainly, I always start with energy and I was doing it for years before I was confident enough to say, I kind of do this stuff in my marketing. It was a really long journey and I don't want, that's why I'm here. I don't want anybody to have to hide it or deny it or be afraid of it, right? It is the, or make it is the, the journey longer. Superpower. Oh, or make girl. the journey longer than it needs to be. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's like, so I mean, if long. I knew this, that I could, like, I guess it's the process of what, stepping into our power <clears throat> yeah. and accepting it within yes. ourselves. Yeah. There was nobody before us talking about these things. Oh, and so, pioneers, uh, girl. We're, yes. Yeah, we're trailblazers. And so uh, the journey was longer. So all you people here are listening, you get to shorten the path and make the journey yeah, a little so. smoother and quicker. And yeah. To, yeah. Well, I think also it's hard to believe and know that something you've never studied is so true and valuable. And I, I was so blessed. I have a client, beautiful woman, client friend, one of those that you just love. They become like dear friends. And I was saying, well, Tammy, I, I never, I never took training in this. I didn't get training in how to be an intuitive. I, and she said, oh, you came in with it. And I was like, oh. That gave me the context because I didn't I didn't trust it for so long, but the understanding that <clears throat> it's already imprinted in me. Mm -hmm. I just have to say yes to it. That was magical. And then I could just own it and activate it and go boom. But I think what happens is we don't trust. So we're looking, well, I need a certification. And I'm not saying that it's wrong to get additional no. credentialing at all. But for me, because I didn't have that, I'm like, well, it's not valid because nothing from the outside came in to make this happen it was all organic right so that was for me uh, that's that's why it took so long to just own it because I just knew it and I didn't have to work for it right I didn't have to earn it well and I am seeing <clears throat> that more people are all of these many abilities like just hearing voices or hearing yeah. <clears throat> thoughts or or not knowing how they know things and it's starting to spook people or their dead <laughs> grandmother shows up and they're like, what? I'm having a whole conversation with grandma. Yeah. And so having the permission because it's been beaten out of so many of us for yeah. generations, yes. maybe we've been burned at a, on the cross, you know, uh, at the stake, pardon me, um, from a previous lifetime. So there's all these patterns of energy that have repeated themselves so we're coming into this era of it's coming on yes and what yes. do we do about it so we can watch youtube videos till you know the moon is blue or you can take some professional training and shorten the path i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it's working all... with a mentor or coach right. to right. help you get to point b right. without all the razzmatazz it's the self-trust is critical like and i think that's Absolutely. one of the the biggest is like how do I how do I know it's my intuition versus the crazy voice or how do I know I'm being led to the right you know that's and so to me there is no there is no not trust anymore it is it whatever it does okay yeah <laughs> yes but I'm sure there was a time where you didn't trust it Would, did, was <laughs> there a time that or that you regret not trusting your intuition uh, uh like like your like your beautiful previous guest Hannah uh a lot around relationships and men and like but I could make it right, you know, in my I head. I could change it's... him. I could teach him the secret yes. and the power of Here was mine. No, because I'm so special. I'm going to love you. Like, you just understand how much love I will bring to you. Like, nobody's loved you. Like, you know, I was just such a nutcase. I was a codependent. It's where it showed up for me in a relationship. So there were so many times when it was screaming at me. The intuition was like, walk, sister, there's one of the notch. You know? And I'd be like, but hold on, hold on. And I just would make shit up and I suffered. So most of my, um, the choice, the rest of my choices were okay. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just, I could not because of the codependency and the relationship challenges I had. I, I, 
and then invariably, or I, I was, I was actually working in a coaching company in my very, 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 very beginning of my career. And it turned out the, the woman I was working with just, uh, was not a good person. She had changed and inside everything was screaming in me. Everything was screaming, going, you got to get out. You got to get out. You got to get out. I was miserable. I, I didn't feel comfortable being aligned with her company longer and I wasn't getting out. So guess what happened? <laughs> She let me go <laughs> oh, interesting. because, yeah. and then I had to kind of go, oh, that's needed to happen a year ago, but I didn't have the courage because I needed the money back in the day. Right. And so very often we make a decision on an intuitive level. We don't act on it. And then life will like, okay, you really want to get out. I'll help you. And, and you know what I mean? So, and it would be far easier if I could have done it if I didn't have the courage back in the day. So that's an example of, again, not listening and stuff gets taken away. Yeah. Elaine says it in the chat, either you move the energy or the energy moves oh, you yeah. along, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so true. And, <laughs> and you know, gosh, darn it, you kick yourself. Like, why didn't I have the courage to move that? Yeah. And, you know, maybe it was the lesson you needed to chalk up and go, check, there's another exactly. one, you know, like, exactly. gosh, darn it, you know, when am I gonna? Yeah, I, I know decisions in my life where I saw the signs, but somehow I <laughs> only looked at half of them and I refused to admit the other half, the key components yeah. that were deal breakers. And yeah, well, I would make yeah. excuses. For oh, uh, girl. <laughs> well, I know for me, what that taught me, and that was like 2008, that with that first, that leaving that company was like, oh, I think I must have created that. I think before I was living in life is happening to me. All right. this stuff is happening. Oh no, I got fired. Oh no, poor me. As right. opposed to- Oh, wait. they're a shitty company. Like, well, they were. <laughs> I didn't create that. <laughs> but but, but you know, it, it was the beginning of my like, oh, I sort of secretly wanted that. Maybe I could be more intentional and more, you know, like design it instead of, oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> before people didn't, need, a lot of people don't even know they can design it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, create it, yeah. design it, manifest it. Yeah. And, you know, it comes back to how do you want to feel in that job, right? What's and the I, perfect job? Oh, I just got to get paid. I've got rent to pay. Exactly. I got a car exactly. payment. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, for me, it was, I just got a divorce. And oh, this job will save me. Oh, it's yeah. perfect for you. Hey, women, guess what? Yeah. Nothing outside of ourselves is going to save us. And I was in a really vulnerable place. And this person swept in, oh, work for my company, la, 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 la. And then boom, right? And so I, I'm all about, like, let's be sovereign. Let's not expect anything to save us. We can create it. <laughs> it's kind of my vibe today. Yeah. And I love that because, and more and more people are embracing that. Yes, like I get, up. I am a creator and I yeah. get to have it my way. Yes. You know, yes, and I'm not yes. hurting anybody or taking anything mm -hmm. away from anybody, but I get to have it my way. Yeah. That's now, what do you feel has helped you the most in trusting your intuition? <sighs> That's such a, because it took a lot of years. <clears throat> um, right. Part of it is making the mistakes sometimes. Well, no, no, um, no? cuz cuz now I'm super loyal to it. Um okay. and I and I and I'm so obedient to it if that makes I don't like that word, but I, there's not it's unequivocal. Oh, you know. Like I'll give you an example. I was like, I really want to go to Joe, Joe Dispenza is in Florida. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, what? I'm not supposed to go. I'm like, it's it's Joe Dispenza. What the hell? And it's like, nope. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, he's another god. god. <laughs> Why am I not supposed to go? And I go, okay. Whatever it is. But I think what I think what started getting really okay i use a pendulum right and the work i do with people i'll just let's say and i'm working with you and you say i desire to create this and i'll tune in and i'll say there's something off you're not you're not open to it and i on one hand it sounds absolutely crazy right and i would just i would tune in i would get the energy and the information and i'm like what happened when you were 12 mm -hmm. stuff people have never thought of like they're one of my favorite stories there is a woman who I love this woman here. Bent energy was so beautiful and she could not land on her target market. She was in the coaching space and she was like, I'm confused. And, and I'm like, you're what? And so I, didn't, I barely knew her. So that's the thing you have to know. If you don't know somebody and you get accuracy, you're like, so I tune well, in. You're, you're completely neutral. And well, that is just it. Yeah. I right, didn't know right. her. I don't know background. Right. So I tune in and I just said, what? Okay. <laughs> Weird question as we're growing your business, but what happened in, in, in when you were in the womb? What happened? Because that's the origin of this. 
And she's like, oh my gosh, I came out fingers first and I just ripped my mother up. And there was story after story of how I hurt my mother and how horrible my, my entrance in the world is. And I'm like, she said, so I learned that when I show up, people get hurt. Wow. And, and that popped for her. And, and, and I'm like, well, no wonder you have a hard time finding a target market and creating a business, right? The very next week she came back, she goes, boom, I got boom, boom. And I'm like, shit, there is no part of my conscious brain that could have known that. Right. I, yeah. And so the fact that it's so precise and I, I mean, I just sit and go, and sometimes people go, nope. And I'm like, uh, yeah, no, this is not, this is not me. <laughs> this is your energy. So if this is a yes, yeah, we're just going to keep talking because there's something here. And so I learned to be just really steadfast. No, we're going here. Here's, here's where we, start. and so more evidence, more miracle stories. I'm just like, I just bow to it now. It's pretty darn magical. It, I love the magic. And I know in the business circle, magic isn't probably a word we'd like to throw around, but when you start <laughs> to live with serendipity and synchronicities and yes. to me, that's yes. the magic, right? Yes. It's, it's like, it's, it's delightful. Really, it's, it's like a God moment. It's a check. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing good girl. You know, things are moving in the right direction. That's what we yeah. want. Absolutely. And the whole angel team is cheering you on. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. hit the mark. Yeah. 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 Following your heart. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Now, was there anything about intuition that you wished you would have known sooner? Well, you know, I, the, the different clairs, and that's pretty common knowledge, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not, I'm not a visual. I don't see. Uh, I've got a training program for you. Yeah, I know. I know. But so, so because some people are like, oh, I see your dead grandmother. She's, and I'm like, you know, so I think I probably minimize, but I just get the knowing kind of the audio or the knowing the or something. And, and lately I've started feeling it in my body. I can feel it. But so there's always the like, oh, that's the right way to do it. Oh, those people. Well, I guess I can't talk to dead. So I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm not a medium. Yeah, it's just you know? another window. Exactly. But so I think that the happening. compare the comparison, right? Oh, well, that's so cool that you're doing that, but I don't have it. So, so, so how it comes in different ways oh, yeah. and how to trust it, because it, on one hand, when you, when it first is coming, but I think we, you, I think we, it's always with us, always, always like, you know, you're going to go, go, I got to go pick up something at the store. You know, you really should call in case they're closed. <laughs> Oh, I'll just drive this. God damn it. They're closed. Right. I think that <laughs> happened just on tiny little things, not even big things. Just like, I knew that I knew that. And so, so yeah. to trust it, just to trust it. And I think also in the beginning, um, now I understand, you know, the voice of fear, the subconscious, the ego is not the intuition because intuition isn't going to be like, you know, that's going to suck your piece of shit. Like that's not intuition. Like that's the part of us that wants to keep us safe, small and stuck. Exactly. But I think people, hear that and they go oh I felt fear so therefore it's my no it's not your intuition that's it see what I mean so pulling out those distinctions yeah learning to trust that right and yeah. well I you know you hear the excuse oh well I guess I tried I applied but I guess God doesn't <laughs> want me to get that job it's not in the cards and people just right, right. take they don't have the heart involved with it you know and yeah. take divine action yeah. take more action like act like you mean it the universe will respond <laughs> when you push forward, right? Like, I mean it. It's crazy how that works. I yeah. And I think, you know, there's, like, I'm sure people, you know, the secret gets bad rap because, okay, do you just sit in your living room and pray for your perfect man to come? Well, no, if he's no, the you have wallpaper of all affirmations, <laughs> and then you've got your vision boards, <laughs> and then you've got all that stuff working for you. And then you can sit back and eat bonbons and watch right. Jerry Springer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That sounds like a nightmare to me watching Jerry Springer, yeah, but my personal choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm sorry to interrupt you, it's like, you can't just say an affirmation or create the vision board and well, expect things to take care. The intuition is going to inspire you to take an action. That's the thing. Right. Yeah. So, and what happens is, so I have this, I have this concept. I love this concept. I created, it's called the expansion zone. Right. And our souls are wired. We're wired with nature. We're wired to expand and grow. So we're given like, go here, try this, call that person. Like that's how we're wired. We're one with all of life. Right. 
And yet our, our subconscious mind is wired to keep us safe. And so what you have to navigate is I'm getting this thing. Oh shit. Every part of me is like telling me that I'm going to fail and they're going to think I'm a crazy and you know, don't go. How do you navigate that? Right. That's, that's the work I do. Cause most people they're either getting it and then getting like, oh, hold on. Oh my gosh. Could I really do it? Is that going to sell? Ugh. And I still have moments of this and I'm launching a new program. I'm like, oh my God, is anybody going to come? Right. And I have to go right. stop. Yeah. I'm not having that. Yep. This is my divine design. I'm supposed to do this. But, but if you have to understand when you get the pull of in, in, intuition or guidance or a soul nudge, you're going to have the contraction, the safety, the like, go sit down. You don't need to do that. Everybody already knows that. La, 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 right. And if you don't know how to navigate that, you're going to, you're going to have, like I did, like stop, start, or just going to sit there and eat bonbons with Jerry Springer. <laughs> bad picture. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I love that. Um, and, and Elaine says, you know, we're wired to expand with our subconscious, our, our subconscious is trying to keep us safe. Yeah. I always refer to it as our body wants us to feel yeah, safe. Right, right, it, right. The, 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 the mind lives in the body, right? right? And the part the of us. spirit wants to explore and create and, uh, yeah, yeah. and bringing that spirit and the body close together energetically yeah. is where the magic Oof, that's the work with my clients you know it's so easy now because in the olden day in the olden days mm -hmm. when I was a therapist and or when I was a baby coach I used to think I had to solve all the problems and I don't know all the things and I you know recently somebody got and just to kind of they were in a bag of shit they were and I'm like stop take some breaths go into your body what do you know is true completely shifts everything because we have to get out of our head. Our heads, like, heads, all the fear and the past, the history, all the projections of, of evil. And nobody's going to like it. Exactly. Yeah. But, and we have access, like I, I go like this, meaning, meaning rise above the, this and just go into, because there is wisdom. If you know how to access it, that's the thing. You got to know how to access it. We got to quiet and then listen to the, and, and I, so we can shift somebody instantly. Like what is true, right? Right in this minute. What is true? Yeah. <sighs> and then it's our guidance. That's our, that could be our North star. There's a truth I can always access. Right. So. Right. I call it grounding. Mm, you're grounding i'm going up <laughs> oh, well <laughs> however it is it's just accessing yeah getting grounded maybe in yourself maybe yeah. just semantics um yeah. but the process of coming into that yes yes a grounded experience is what i'm so trying good. to do yeah. yeah going into the body and uh letting go yeah so i know to, um that you have some incredible gifts that you're sharing i mean you've shared your gifts already but Thank i you. i'm curious what you've got Yes. for us okay so i'm going to circle back to the expansion zone and i um i've renamed it i did it once i ran this program called the expansion zone live <laughs> uh -huh. and then i renamed it it's okay. called unlock your business potential okay um i just wanted to make it a more of a markety like a marketed grounded understandable term right and i might go back to expansion zone live but what it is is it's three days of live training an hour a day for three days it starts in February. And I'm so excited about this because like when I teach, I'll be teaching and I'm like, ah, hold on, stop, 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 stop. We got to go clear some energy. Boom. Right. So, so day one is about expansion. We're going to talk about what ah, the link is opening a page, not found. Yikes. We'll have to find a page for you. Um, so we'll, the day one is how do you expand? And we, we hit all the blocks to expanding. We'll do energy clearing. I will do visualizations. You will step into that next level expanded version of yourself, number one. And number two, second day is what is causing the contraction? So, so I go into all that. I give you some tools for how to, how to understand, like if you're, if you're being pulled like, ah, that's scary, how to navigate that. And the third day is just open coaching Q and A. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like an hour a day. It's just super easy and super accessible, and it's very experiential. So uh, it's not just a webinar. I'm just I'm like doing it. <laughs> and that's key, I think, as people participate. I mean, that's where the wisdom, that's where the nuggets and the shifts happen. Because mm. you think that you can do another downloaded class, it's not going to work because you've got to get exactly. past the subconscious mind that's just effing that's you up. That's it. And it's called unlock your business, but you don't have to be a business. You know, I work, I do 
It's hint, your hint. business, your business. I, your but business. I do life coaching with business. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, so if you're on the call and you don't have a business, but you love this concept of expansion, come anyway. That's what I'm saying but is it's not only- Your life is your business. Your <laughs> life is your business. You can't take your life out of your business. That's what I'm aware of. So or, absolutely. I mean, I know we're talking about a tangible more brick and mortar yeah. or online. I'm service-based. I'm talking about service-based business. Or right. yeah, it, it, my life is my business. How committed yeah, am I to exactly. make my life work, right? I love that. I love that. I'm I know we put a priority that. to investing in things that are going to bring yeah. us money, right? But investing in yourself that will then redirect you on the path that's perfect for you will bring even more money and abundance in every way. I mean, there's that's my- nothing. No, there's nothing more important. I, I'm really talking these days about we're going to grow you alongside your business. Because yeah. how dare a mentor say, I don't want to hear that your kid's sick. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. Like you should have a mentor that's like, you bring it all, bring it all to me because there's no separation. So we're, we're, of course, we're unified. Yeah. I mean, really, we can't separate ourselves from our life. It, right. It's like you're creating it. You're creating every aspect. Right. Yeah. So that's wonderful. I really appreciate that. Now, I, um, you're so full of guidance and information and wisdom and experience. Was there any nuggets that you'd like to share with our listeners um, today? One final mm. thought. Yeah. One final thought. Um, somebody's praying for you. Oh, wow. And what I mean by that, and because what I know there's a lot of work that I, I work with a lot of coaches, healers, like service-based, like we sell ourselves, right? Whatever your services were. And it's easy to devalue that. It's easy to get into the not enoughness or the comparison. And I know that you have gone through everything you went through. You have the unique blueprint, the history, you have all the experience, all the skill set, because you are the answer to somebody's prayer. So literally, if you can think somebody is laying at night head on the pillow, maybe crying, just maybe, I mean, please, God, please help me, please somebody. And you're the one, you're going to get out of bed for that. You are going to be like, okay, I'll, I'll move past my visibility issues. I'll move past my, I can't really charge enough. But if you, if you just understand that you are on a soul level, you are contracted, you are an answer to somebody's prayer. Oh, that changes it. That's not just a bit. That's not a transaction. That's a, oh, I'm it. Like I'm chosen for that remember that that will help you own your value and just know that you know and it's supposed to be i love that i love that oh no know and own your value that's your business yes. <laughs> that's your business darling yes, yes. wow that's powerful thank you so much therese sure, um, sure. I really cherish you and i'm humbled to be with you and uh and all the good work that you're doing thanks so thank much you. for sharing you. your heart what a what a sweet place to be with amazing speakers. So thanks oh, for that for the time. You're Thank so you. welcome. Thanks Thank again. You. Uh -huh.